is happening, Magnus Sites. Um, so it says here it's official. Fans call The Flash the second worst comic book movie ever. Nearly breaks Morbius's record. Well, I enjoyed Morbius. I understood why people didn't like it, though. <laughs> and uh, I enjoyed The Flash. And I understand why people aren't liking it. But I would say that Captain Marvel is worse than both of these. And I think we all know this. No matter how much money it made, supposedly. Uh, we know it's worse than this. But let's move forward here. James Gunn recently took over the helm of DC Universe. Of DC Universe and franchise. And which one called was worse still? Captain Marvel. Uh, the Eternals was worse uh, than both of them. Um, I don't want to get sidetracked. Um, James Gunn recently took over the helm of the DC Universe. And the franchise has not come out with flying colors under his reign so far. The Flash movie hit the theaters after a long wait. Earlier this month, um, the, sorry, and turned out to be nothing but a huge disappointment to fans of the franchise. <laughs> However, it only got from bad to worse from there uh, as The Flash is now officially the second worst comic book movie ever, according to this weekend's collections. The Flash saw a drop of 73% in its second domestic weekend. Ezra Miller's The Flash movie has been nothing but a disappointment to the fans so far. The CGI, which was supposed to make the movie a bit flashier than others, just ruined the good moments of the movie, and it turned out to be absolutely disgraceful. The movie, which was allegedly supposed to be the greatest superhero movie ever, quote and unquote, did not even turn out to be the greatest superhero movie that has come out this month. <laughs> the Flash grossed almost, that rhyme, don't hate to play a game, bars, 55 million domestically for its first weekend, which is already unimpressive considering the stature of the movie and how the studio had described it. Fast forward to this weekend, the movie allegedly grossed, sounds like a trial here, allegedly grossed <laughs> 15.3 million, seeing a massive drop of 73% in its earnings on only the second weekend of the movie. It's funny, in the article they have uh, this picture here of... Um, um, Supergirl and the Flash, both Flashes, you know, when they jumped out of the Batwing and everything. That was one of the things in the trailer where I was like, God, that looks bad. That looks really green screeny. Something is wrong. I hope they clean that up. Didn't happen. The movie uh, saw an even bigger drop than its recent predecessor uh, movies of the DCEU. Like Black Adam and Shazam Fury of the God that saw a drop of 59% and 69% on their second one. You know, I, I liked um I liked the Flash more than Shazam Fury of the Gods also. Um and slightly more than Black Adam. I liked Black Adam. You know, so um, but I you know. Neither one of them where I was like, yo, it was so great. Make sure you said No, it wasn't like that. The fans react to the news of Andy Machete's movie Disaster Collection. The Flash saw the second worst collection from a comic book movie, superhero movie, in his second weekend. Only Morbius, I've never heard that before. The second worst collection. Only Morbius has seen worse collections. Uh, than The Flash, which saw a drop of 74% in its earnings on the second weekend of the movie. Fans took to Twitter to troll The Flash for falling at the box office. One user criticized the terrible visual effects of the movie and wrote, 
Uh, it grosses $15.3 million in its second domestic weekend, a 73% drop. The only comic book movie to ever have a worse drop is hashtag Morbius. Another fan says, CGI disaster. Ah. Many fans explained the failure of The Flash, excuse me, was bound to happen as the studios had already announced before the release of the movie that they would be re rebooting the cinematic universe. Yeah. So people had less of an interest. And um, that was something that people pointed out uh, when I was talking about what I thought would have made the movie better. Uh, and my first three or major reasons that I think the movie actually failed, you know. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, if Warner had kept up, kept their mouths shut, <laughs> read the whole gun reboot <laughs> news, then this might have fared much better. That's true. That's true. DC Shakeup killed their current lineup of movies. Nobody wants to get invested in a franchise they know is going away. It's really over, DC, crying emoji. Despite being a massive failure, the Flash movie acted as a massive changing factor in the DC universe. Uh, okay. Well, you know, in this whole time, this whole new era that we live in, information and rumors and leaks and just the amount fans know versus the past it really has made things very interesting you know like yeah i used to be when i was a kid and i would say anything from my teens you know from a childhood to early 20s sometimes depending on what it was in my early 20s i just believed everything that i saw on the news <laughs> yeah, I was one of them. Remember in um, Alien vs. Predator Requiem or whatever? Uh, and by the way, I love that movie. Only for, for Wolf, the Predator. He is the most badass Predator I've ever seen in any movie. He is the best. He makes the movie for me. I love that movie simply because of him, his fighting, and his badassery. But anyway... You know, they, they tell them to go to the center of town for evacuation. And, uh, you know, like, they don't trust it. And there's the lady on the truck, on the military truck with them. It's like, the, the government wouldn't lie to us. I was like that. I actually used to be like that. I really did think, oh, everything's for the best of us. If a company says that, hey, they didn't mean to do it. Well, it's healthy for you. They're telling the truth. It, people aren't bad like but bad like that. Bit my tongue. <laughs> people aren't bad like that. <laughs> so when now, when uh, even when, even though I'll talk about them, even when early reviews come out or a star says something or anything further in politics, politics or whatever it is, I don't automatically believe it. I take it with a grain of salt every time, even though I might be more inclined to believe some more than others. And depending on the situation, how the story is, you know, there's a lot of factors that, you know, that play into it. But I don't believe nothing no more. You know, nothing. <laughs> I've been in this business long enough to know I can't believe ish. Anybody tells me no more. I just got to experience it for myself. <laughs> so, it is what it is. Post comments down below. Let me know what you think about this situation. Is it truly the second worst movie? Um, superhero movie. First of all, Morbius isn't the worst superhero movie. And this isn't the second worst superhero movie. So, in the comments, I'd like you to tell me what is the worst superhero movie out there. 10 million subscribers. Woo!